Hi guys, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the percentage progress bar using Java. Let us show the demo first. Here, if I run the application, you can see the output. Here, right? If I run the application, you can see the output here. Right? The percentage, right? It's loading. Uh, after it, uh, th this progress bar completed, you successfully visit the main menu, right? Uh, this is how uh, one of my students who asked me to do this program. That's why I done this, uh, done the program like this. Uh, now let I, I will do this one from the beginning. How to do the program step by step? Uh, first part I'm going to go to the file new, Java application next. Here I'm going to if it is check create main class. I'm going to uncheck it. Here I'm going to create the class name as progress, right? Progress, right? This is the name of the class, right? Uh, project, right? Click finish. Created successfully. Now here to this one we don't need that. Right. Now here first what I'm going to do is here. This is our project. We have a source package. Here select the source package. Right click new. Gear frame form. Here I'm going to create the class name as progress. Right. Progress. Right. Click finish. This is my gear frame. Gear frame. After that, I'm going to create another for frame. It's a main. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is select the progress Java here. I'm going to make the design. So here, first, so I'm going to drag one panel. Go to the palette, drag one panel like this. Select the panel. Right-click properties, border. Soft bevel border, click OK. Now, here what I am going to do is here. Uh, I am going to create one label. This label I am going to put the name as loading. Select this one properties, font, bold, 24. Now, select like this. After that, we need a progress bar. So select the progress bar for the palette. Right. After that, we need one label. So we have to drag one label over here. This one should be the percentage. So we have to drag here bold width. We have to make it as size 16. Click OK. Right. Now here, what I'm going to do is select this one properties foreground color I'm going to select as red right now here first what I'm going to do is when the form progress bar is loaded uh, here we have the percentage get loaded so here go to the source we have to write the code we have to write the code here right so we have to write the now you have to write the code here uh, inside the main method here this one inside the main method I'm going to write here first right so we have to write First, you write the progress. You have to create the object P equal new progress. Control C to copy, Control V to paste here. New progress. Now, here we have to write uh, this P, right? This object I am going to call it here. Set the table to work. Right. This is the thing we have to do first. After that, what I am going to do is here. I am going to write the visit form here. Visit form to main form. So we have to write main. Uh, we have to create the object m equal new main. Right. This is the thing we have to do. Right. After done the progress by it visits the main form. After that what I am going to do is we have to write the follow for initial value where create the variable i. Initial value I am going to create as 0. After that, I left hand equals 100. After that, you have to write I plus plus. After that, we have to write here uh, thread dot sleep. Here, we have to write 100. After that, we have to write this object p dot uh, here 
we have to write uh, p dot we have to set this name of the progress bar we have to set it here which this progress bar p bar this one one p uh, txt uh, percentage p i n right we have to write the name right i just give the name too right uh, here this one we have to set as p dot p bar progress bar name set value set value we have set it here as this i that's it that's what we have to do right after that we have to set it here this one this p get the progress bar object p dot txt this one should be the p this is the percentage dot set x we have to write here is integer dot to uh, yeah, you write here uh, you write you write string value of string dot value of here we have write i plus percentage you write like this simple you write like this okay now here I have add the try and catch here turn on the detail try and catch here very simple here it's not a try and catch right after that what I'm going to do is here uh, here I'll write check if i equal is equal 100 p dot set variable true uh, false here this time after that we have to write p dot this false after that we have to write this after that we have to write here is uh, the same thing we have to write the main form object we have to call the main form object dot set variable true If the hundred is completed, it's getting false. This one should be true. After that, we have to what I'm going to do. So we have to dispose the uh, this as well again. P P dot dispose. Okay, the main form should be over. Right now, let's check whether it's working fine or not. Right? This is the percentage. When the four percentage is hundred uh, complete hundred, uh, here is false set visible false mean the this progress bar visible false dispose we are dispose dispose after that we have to set the visible true of main form right so let's run and check whether it's working fine or not right it's not run let's run it again a problem here right what's a problem it has some problem now let's check what is the problem now here the problem is here the for loop I am going to control x cut off in we have to write inside the try catch block right now we have to put it here close the bracket right. that's the thing we have to write here all right we have to write here we have to right that's the thing we have to write here right. now let's try now let's execute the program and check how it's work now here it's working perfectly. Now here it's working perfectly. Now, now what I'm going to select this one. I'm going to set as code generate center. Same thing in the main menu also. You have to write welcome. Select this one. Properties like this one welcome then it's right. right now here we have to run the program and check now it is working well I hope you guys you understood the things well uh, the problem I got it here is the for loop I have to return inside the loop uh, try that's the problem earlier I wrote 
above the tray. That, that's why it's not working. Now if I put inside the tray, it will work fine. Uh, I hope you guys will understood these things. Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe me. Thank you for watching.